Good morning, Central Coast. It is going to be another absolutely wonderful day. A little bit chilly, though. Honestly, a great day anyway, especially considering the clearing that we're going to be seeing in the later afternoon into the evening hours. It's going to be pretty similar to what we saw yesterday. This photo sent to us by Kathleen Curtis Ames at Shell Beach. If you have any photos you're particularly proud of or just want to show us, be sure to send it using the hashtag BeOnKSBY. We would love to see your photos. And that's going to be pretty similar to what we're going to be seeing today. Plenty of clear skies, a few scattered clouds here and there, but honestly, perfect conditions. That's going to have to wait just a little bit. We do have that morning fog sticking around, but the good news is, especially in the north coast very little of that is sticking around a few very localized areas of fog but nothing like they're seeing right now on the south coast where there's some pretty decent fog especially down in santa barbara that's something to keep a close eye on this morning as you head out the door but you also might want to grab a cardigan or something a little bit warmer this morning 48 degrees in california valley as well as in paso robles at 54 degrees in san luis obispo we're going to continue to see warming temperatures throughout the rest of the day today so you won't need any extra layers for that much longer. Checking out our satellite and radar, this is going to tell a couple of stories. We do have this big system up in the Pacific Northwest, but it's tail end. That's going to be a cold front that is pushing through the central coast as of this point. Fortunately, it's not really bringing us a whole lot of rain in it. It's been trying to get a little bit more rain down the end tail of that cold front, but unfortunately it's dissipating incredibly quickly as it hits the coast. So maybe, just maybe a few in the most far northern portions of San Luis Obispo County could see a few raindrops falling, but a lot of this won't even be reaching the ground. It's just that light of rainfall. Something else to keep an eye on today is we do have some wind advisories for much of the central coast, including the north coast and the south coast. This is going to be through noon tomorrow, especially in the overnight hours. Gusts upwards of 45 miles an hour are possible. Just keep a little bit of an extra eye on that, especially if you're passing through any canyons or passes over the next couple couple of days through tomorrow at noon. What we're looking at over the next couple days, this big cold front is going to move out of the way, clear us out by tomorrow. Then we're going to have a fantastic weekend, plenty of sunshine. Then looking towards early next week, a little bit of a cool down, and then we're going to see a big high pressure system. That's our next indication of actually rain coming into the area. That's going to move in on Tuesday. We're going to keep a really close eye on that. It's a little too far away still, so we don't quite know what's going to be going on with that system, but we're going to keep a really close eye on that. Temperatures in the mid 70s today. Back to you guys.